Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Fallout 3 Wanderers Edition. So, we're in a storage closet. It's a nice, safe storage closet. Nothing is trying to shoot us right now. Um, unfortunately, it's a storage closet with enemies nearby. So, we need to, I guess, just head back downstairs to where Fox is. And we can just save down there, or we should be able to. Um, also, maybe if we wait for another hour, Fox will finally be done chasing enemies that we have no way to reach. Well, there's our good buddy Fox, looking particularly ominous with the red illuminations. Uh, still probably not going to help us right now. I'm starting to wonder if maybe it might be worth our time to go back and open that door again. But for now, we're going to sleep for an hour real quick. Save, get a little bit of health back. Alright, Fox. What are you doing? Oh, is he actually going upstairs? Oh, man. The other option here is that we're going to have to find out, like, work out a way to kill all of the super mutants so that Fox will actually go into the Gek chamber. Because I really, really don't want to go soak up all of the radiation damage we would get from doing it ourselves. Okay, so we just really got to watch out for this bit up here. Because there is a guy, like, on the other side of the door who will get alerted if we walk through. Uh, which will also annoy Fox. And he might go sprinting off looking for a dude who... We physically can't reach. I can't reach that super mutant to kill him. So if Fox gets annoyed at this guy, there's nothing we can do about it. Um, clearly he's an enemy that we're supposed to reach at some point. I'm pretty sure that door... If I had to guess, I'd say that's the exit to the Gek area. So it's an enemy that we can reach, so I don't really want to go, you know, console command to shoot him. I feel like that would be a little bit over the top. I, like, it was fine when the centaur was, like, stuck outside the wall. God damn it. Okay, Fox, you go. You go do you. Uh, we should also heal a little bit. Now that I think about it. Hey, man, I'm so glad we got that uh, buffed heal from Stimpax thing. That was a good use of a level up. Oh, man. Okay, kind music is done. Is Fox going to come upstairs, or are you just going to keep looking for people? Well, I guess we can just keep going down the hallway. He'll catch up eventually. I guess we should keep our gun out, because the Zoomerians do have a nasty habit of just kind of walking around corners at me. If I had to take a guess, I'd say this door goes into the heavily irradiated part. And I would be wrong about that. Okay, then. Keep an ear out for muties. Now try and oh. hide from this. I'm going to eat your arms with your dead human. That guy sounds particularly angry. I hope he likes shotgun shells, because I have a lot of them right now. Ow! My arm. Almost went really badly. Fortunately, in the same shot that he knocked my arm out, I knocked the gun out of his hand, so it all worked out in the end. Oh, no, we're still just... Where's the radioactive part of this? I'm, you know, I know that hallway over there is radioactive. I could have sworn the radioactive part was a bit closer. Oh, well, I guess this just gives... Hey, this gore bag is full of bullets and money. Um... Anyways, I guess this just gives us a bit more time for Fox to catch up, which is nice. Hey, yeah, I'll take the pack of cigarettes. They weigh like a tenth of a pound or whatever the weight unit is in this game. Oh god. Oh god, that's bright. Okay, now it's time for flashlight, I guess. Ooh, first aid kit. God, walking backwards with a gun out in power armor. It's the slowest. Uh, I'm actually going to use that blood pack straight away, because it will save us a little bit of weight, and also we need the health. Ah, the door with the terminal next to it is probably the door that goes into the irradiated hallway. In fact, just based on where we are right now, I would say this door probably goes into the irradiated hallway. Alright, can I do anything with this terminal? 
Emergency radiation purge. Venting system offline. Fantastic. Uh, that does make me wonder if there's some way to get the venting on, but honestly, I'd rather just have Fox do it for us. That would be easier for everyone involved. If I can find him. Hey, there he is. Hey, Fox. Finally got fed up trying to get that guy through an, an unopenable door, huh? So, uh... Okay. You stay here. Beyond this door, the hallways and chambers are flooded with radiation. I'll get the case and bring it right back. Keep your eyes open. I know my lesser-minded brethren are bound to stumble across us. Sure. All right. Have fun. I'll be here with my proper gun out. There we go. That we now have some ammo for. So I'll just wait here. This is not a bad little area to hold. I wish we had some mines or something, but I always wish we had mines. Why do I never bring mines? Okay, well, nobody actually showed up, so. As promised, yeah, here's the gek. I hope it's worth it. Uh, I'm afraid this is where you and I part company. I'll find my way out of this place. Don't worry. Maybe we'll meet again somewhere in the, the wasteland. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Alright, well, uh, time to go and definitely leave Vault 87. 100%. Hey, wow, somebody closed this door behind us. Who could have done that? What a shock. Oh, no! Never seen the Super Mutant guy run across before. Anyways, there's no way to avoid that. The Enclave guys always come in. Hi. I feel like we're supposed to have fallen over or something. Good work, soldier. Yeah, we're definitely supposed to have fallen over. Make sure the deck is secured aboard my vertebird. Well, this is a fun little bug. Yes, sir. I'll have the text come down and remove it immediately, sir. You're certain she's unharmed? Yes, sir. She'll pass out shortly, but we can revive her. Excellent. Prepare her for transport immediately. Right away, sir. I hear you. There's also still a super mutant just around somewhere now. Um, I guess he must have got bugged uh, through that door. And so oh, you're awake. Let's keep this nice and simple. You're going to tell me the code for that purifier. And you're going to tell me now. Uh, I'll tell you whatever you want. Nah, we're going to be heroic. Uh, let me out of here, jerk. If you tell me the code, it might be worth your life. But you're really not in a position to be demanding anything, are you? Uh, fuck you. I'll be honest. I'm running out of patience here, and I'm not looking to play games with you. You tell me that code, or it's going to cost you. Uh, no. Fuck you. Why do you insist on provoking me? Tell me the code now. Colonel, I have need of you. Mr. President, I have no time for other matters. I'll be with you shortly. Now, Colonel. Yes, sir. Okay, bye. Fun chatting with you. Ah, alone at last. I do apologize for Colonel Autumn's attitude. He's been under a great deal of stress lately. I've no doubt that you know who I am. I'm sure you've heard my radio broadcasts. I'd like to have a word with you face to face. I think there are a few things that you and I should discuss. You'll find your possessions in the locker near the door. I'll unlock the way for you. And I'll unlock your restraints as well. I'll be waiting for you in my office. 
Please don't carry. Sure, sure. Oh, we're not wearing clothes. Alright. Well, it was very nice of them to keep all my stuff in the prison cell with me. Oh, we also leveled up, which is nice. Okay, I'm just going to put our power armor on here. All of our power armor. Also our nose chain and collar. We need those in our backpack. There we go. All right, everything is not hotkeyed anymore because we got it all removed from our inventory. Cool. Let's fix that. Why do I feel like I'm missing something here? I can't put my finger on it, but I really feel like I'm missing an item out of my weapons list. Shoot. <laughs> I just remembered I dropped all that stuff to make room for the advanced radiation suit, and I was going to pick it up after I got the gek, and I forgot. Whatever. None of it was that exciting, so... Uh, oh no, I still have my sniper rifle. Hey, there we go. I don't have any grenades, which is kind of a shame. Okay, am I forgetting anything else? I don't think so. I think we're okay. Alright, now, importantly, um, we're in the middle of an enclave base, and I would really, really like to not start gunfights with the entire enclave, you know, military. Uh, so we're gonna try and do this without shooting anybody. Hold it right there. You're supposed to be in that holding cell. You're not going anywhere. There's a full complement of guards in the next room. As soon as I get them, you're going back to your cell. In a body bag, if necessary. Uh... I'm on my way up to see the president. How about I put in a good word for you? Uh... You are? I, I mean, uh, you would? Just make sure he knows I was real strict with you, okay? And that I didn't have my uniform on backwards this time. The Enclave really hires some uh, elite troops. Alright, which way am I going? Do I follow that guy? I honestly don't know. I could use directions. Attention to all Raven Rock personnel. This is your president speaking. I've invited our guests from Vault 101 to my office. Please do not impede her progress. Thank you for your cooperation. You're doing quite well for yourself. Keep following this hallway. Oh, good. He does give us directions. Fantastic. Otherwise, I would have spent the next hour wandering around this place. Ooh. Can I just open random jail cells? Am I allowed to do that? Nobody's stopping me. Oh, this one doesn't have an equipment locker. Or anything, really. Well, alright then. Is there another cell back here? Did I, did I miss a door? I did! Cell 5. This one's also empty. What a ripoff. Oh, good. There's even a map. Okay, uh, so we're at the red dot. I'm assuming we want to go to the control room, so we have to go... Who the hell made this map? I think we gotta go to the left... To the left? Yeah, because that's the holding cells behind us, which is that part. So we want to go this way. I talk to the random enclave guys. You're supposed to be meeting the president, then go do it. Get away from me. Okay, they don't like me a whole lot. Maybe it's the stolen enclave armor that I'm wearing. Attention! This is Colonel Autumn. You are hereby ordered to ignore the president's previous directive. Oh no. The prisoner from Vault 101 is to be shot on sight. I repeat, shot on sight. This is an order. Well, that's good. Okay, I think we need to go through this door. Anybody home? Fortunately, a bunch of the guards just ran off to fight a rad roach. So I think we're okay. I'm just gonna sneak for a little bit, because, uh... Again, in the middle of an enclave base. And they are very well armed. Ah, good. A door. An actual door. I don't 
hear anybody running to shoot me. I don't hear anybody walking around at all, which is nice. Hopefully they're not going to start popping at me around corners. Okay, so we're here, having just come up the stairs from 3B. Why does it look like there's a way straight here from 3... Ah, oh, whatever. Uh, I guess we have to go through that door. And then... To the left? Error voices. I see. All right, there's two. Hang on, we need to change the look of the map again. I'm gonna zoom in it from here. Okay, so we probably want to take the non-stairs route because it looks like the stairs will take us the long way around, which could also be the less full of guards route. But I guess we'll find out the hard way because I can't peek through doors or anything. And uh, it's been retreating. 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 Ah. Oh, okay. Bye. See you around. That's the death claw. I don't like that. Alright, I'm just gonna do that. Just so I know if anybody's Hey look a ghoul. Okay. Well, uh It seems like all of the people who had weapons just kinda ran past me and left. So we're just gonna continue on our merry little way here. This has been a, a strange day, to say the least. Uh, 2B sounds correct. Yes, I did say we had to go through the store and then to the left. Oh, this looks fun. That's a big open space we gotta go through. With a completely unmanned security checkpoint. Okay. Uh, anyways, we wanna go right here. I'm kind of weirded out because I'm starting to feel like the a lot of the NPCs just didn't spawn in or something because this place feels completely abandoned. Like, literally, we've seen... We saw Colonel Autumn, but that was kind of a cutscene type deal. Um, we saw that one officer guy, and we saw those two scientists, and that's it. And we're already most of the way through uh, Raven Rock. Like, do I even need to be sneaking? Can I just walk? Nothing so... Oh. Speak of the devil. Oh, look, his little feet are big. It's adorable. You guys have anything useful on you, like stim packs or anything like that? Your armor's all broke up. Ooh, fingers. I'll take those. I'm not gonna bother with that. Actually, I'm debating whether I want to take his plasma rifle because the outcast will give me stuff for it. But we're already, like, at our weight capacity. I'm gonna leave it for now. As much as I want it. I'm taking your finger, though. Your microfusion cells. Um. Shoot, there's no map here. I'm gonna assume both of these go kinda to the same place. And I'm gonna go the way the guards came. Okay, there's gotta be some guards in here, right? This is, like... this. Look, it's the war room. No? Okay, well, I'm gonna stay on the side further away from that door. Oh, wait, 1A access. No, we need to go that way. Never mind. Can I do anything in here? Like, is this actually. Is this just a map, or is this actually. Oh, no, this is just a map. Ah, shoot. I was hoping there was, like, a console up here I could fiddle with. Okay, well, presumably there's some guards, you know, outside where the president is. Cool, the sentry bots are on our side. Neat. At least I hope they are. Hey, you don't mind me, I'm just gonna take some fingers off these guys you killed. Oh, they don't have fingers! Oh, right, because we didn't kill them. I think that only works if we kill them. 
Anyways, thanks, sentry bots. I'm just gonna close this door on my way through. Oh god, I hope that noise doesn't continue. Hello, President Eden. Ah, face to face at last. It's high time we met. I'm quite pleased you were able to make it. The trip was not what I had intended, but serves as an adequate test of your abilities. Uh... It's a pleasure to meet you. You know, what do you want with me? What any good politician wants. Your continued trust and support. In your case, however, I have more specific things to ask of you, if you'll hear me out. Well, I don't really have anywhere else to be right now, so what's up? Our nation's capital is at a crossroads. The path that you and I choose here today will affect us all. I need you to act on my behalf to ensure that our country's future is secured. Okay, you're using a lot of words right now, and I really want you to get to the point. My abilities to influence the world are limited at this time. I alone can only do so much. You, however, may come and go as you please. You have a greater degree of freedom. Perhaps it's best if I explain why things need to change, and why I'd like you to act on my behalf. Oh my god, can you just get to the point, please? For the love of god, this buzzing noise is driving me insane. Yes, indeed. The point is that we are hampered at every turn by a world gone wrong. So-called super mutants, ghouls, horrific creatures. The mutations outside these walls must be cleansed before we can prosper. Mutation must be eradicated. I believe your father's work can do that more quickly and efficiently than ever possible before. Uh, I don't like the sound of this. You must understand. We need to clear the way for humanity to rebuild the wastes. By making a few small modifications to the purifier your father worked on, mutations can be eradicated with a little effort. Anything mutated that comes into contact with that water will be eliminated, removed from the gene pool. The men and women of the world will no longer share it with the horrors and monstrosities that have become so commonplace. Uh... There's no real what's the catch option, so I guess we'll just go for how exactly would I do this? In front of you will be a vial of modified FEV virus. It can be inserted into the control console for the purifier. Doing so will inject it into the water supply, and the purifier will take care of the rest. You just need the code to activate the purifier. Simple, isn't it? Uh... I'll give it some thought. I understand. It's an unusual request. One I wouldn't make if it weren't of the utmost importance. Please understand that I cannot allow you to leave until you've taken the vial. Uh... Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, we, we can convince him to turn himself off. Okay, um... So... I'm not sure, I, I think, like, the, all the... Enclave soldiers will still be mad at us if we, even if we take the vial, because Colonel Autumn told them to be mad at us. Um, but I feel like if we just tell him no, he's going to have a bunch of robots try and kill us as well. So, uh, let's try and science our way out of this. You can't be president. You're an abortion of science. You need to die. Wow, that is scientific. Really? Do go on. Uh, you weren't programmed as, you weren't programmed for self-awareness. You said so yourself. Yeah, sure, that one. This is quite true. The process was certainly unintended, but shouldn't we all be thankful that I'm here now? Uh, how do you know that what you're doing is right? Because unlike humans, I am infallible. And how do you know you're infallible? 
Because I've been programmed to be, of course. Ah, gotcha. You know because you know. Argue at length. <laughs> Just in brackets. Error detected. I think you're delusional. I think the world would be better off without you. Resetting primary memory circuits. Please stand by. Perhaps, perhaps there is a problem. I, I am unsure how to proceed. Uh, shut yourself down. Initiate self-destruct. Yeah, do it. Processing directive. New directive accepted. Self-destruct sequence initialized. Civilian is advised to remove hazardous FEV material and exit at once. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just take the vial. We don't actually have to use it or anything. Anyways, let's get out of here. How do we get out of here? Uh, I probably should have checked the map, which I think was nearby. Oh, dear. Yeah, I feel like if we, uh... If we had made Eden mad at us, we would have been fighting the turrets on our way out, as well as the Enclave guys. Who are currently running away, because everything is exploding. How do I get out? 1B. I need to find 1B. This way. Oh. Okay, good. The sentry bots are here to help. Yes, yeah, so if you reject Eden, he has all these guys come try and kill you. A utility worker ID. That sounds fantastically useful. Hey, med kits. I should maybe not stop to check this out right now, but I really want first aid. Oh, it's empty. Jerks. I don't really know that now is the time for this, if I'm going to be 100% honest. Um, I think we'll just leave that for... Hello. Oh, death block age. Yeah, I'm not going to touch that. Alright, well, uh, thanks, sentry bots. You guys got anything good in your lockers? Have a nice day. I love the sentry bots. I love most of the robots in this game. I think they're really funny. Alright, I killed one of you, so I should be able to get a finger. There we go. Ooh, same pack. Thank you. And you just had some ecstasy on you, which is nice. Hang on. One C. I don't think that's where it's supposed to be on. Ooh. Okay, um, is there a- oh! Well, that's not safe. Okay, we are on C. Oh, exit's right up here. Fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna need your fingers, though, guys. Sorry to bother you. Oh, you didn't drop one because the turrets killed you. What about you? Nope. Food, though. Oh, hi! That's a lot of enclave guys. Alright, I'm gonna sit down. And let the sentry bot sort this out for me. Unlock this. I want what's in those boxes. Oh, you turn it. Sentry bots do not seem to be doing super well. Oh, there we go. That sort of. That dude has a scary gun. I'm worried about him. Mostly because I can't. I'm also running out of ammo. Which is a bit of a problem. Am I actually out of bullets? I I am actually out of bullets. Okay, that's an issue. So we're using the backup. This, uh, this guy needs to go. He also needs to stop jumping in and out of cover. Really doing a whole lot of damage. Do more damage than the sentry bot, at least. You don't have any bullets I can use. Cool. Okay. Well. Enough playing around. Uh. Everything seems to have stopped exploding temporarily. So. Average. Yeah, I can totally hack this.
All right, it is not generator. So, it, well, it can't end in TOR, we know that. Oh, we should look for things. Da -da -da, there, nope, there's one. There's one. There's one. Uh, that looks like it, though. Okay, anyways, it's not generator. Let's see, it's got an E. It's just got an E. It's not lieutenant, okay. Cardinals. It's got the A for lieutenant. It's got nothing for generator, though. Okay, it's not that. Collected. It's got an E for lieutenant. It's got a T for generator. Nope, we're getting closer, but unfortunately we're about to get locked out. All right. Reset that real quick. Okay, it's not crumbling. Oh, we got a lot less of the little unlock buttons this time. That removed, that removed. Oh, we actually got two. We got, what, three last time? Alright, well, it's got three in common with crumbling, so it could end in ING. It could be receiving. It's receiving. That was much easier. It's a very, oh, wow, look. We got a little American flag in there thing. Wow, these guys are such dorks. Alright. Grenade box. Hey, a bunch of plasma grenades. Uh, mine box. No. Do you guys have an ammo box? Gun case. I'm willing to bet the outcasts will pay handsomely for this, and I'm gonna borrow it. What else you guys got? Plasma rifle? Yeah, sure. We're almost at the exit. We should be fine. We might, uh, have to walk a ways to get home. And we might not be in the friendliest location. Uh, but I think we're gonna make some friends outside, so we should be okay. Oh, I should be running, shouldn't I? This whole place is exploding. Oh, I can't. Right. Just picked up a bunch of stuff. Uh, also, can I take this dude's armor? Because he has cool armor. He's taking his finger. You know, I'm just gonna take all of his stuff, and we'll look into fixing it later. Oh, you're a girl. Oh, sorry about that. What about you? Uh, you also have... You know what? I'm going to take that. I'll give it to the outcasts. Just give all this stuff to the outcasts. I am carrying so much. Cat food. The <laughs> enclave so weird. All right. Let's go outside. Fairly certain that's a bug, so let's just uh, walk our way out of here like normal people. Was I supposed to open the door or something on the way out? I guess, but like I couldn't, it wasn't even like you can't go out because the door's not open, it just shunted me out into a bunch of rocks and I couldn't move. So, I suspect that that was a bug, and that the... Hey, it's Fox. Hey, Fox. Hey, look, he killed all the Enclave guys out here. My friend! I see I found you at last! I knew you had survived, and I had hoped to assist in your rescue, to repay my debt to you. Uh, Fox, what are you doing all the way out here? He just ex Why is that a dialogue? He just explained that. Uh, looks like you got a new toy. Yes! And the most fascinating one at that. <laughs> Whoa, this technology is amazing. Imagine the evil that can be eliminated with such tools. Um. Oh, I have to ask him what the hell he's doing out here. Okay. I saw your capture, and a little cleverness allowed me to follow your captors. Uh, I only wish I 
could have arrived sooner to aid your escape. As I owe you my freedom, I felt it was only fair that I return the favor. After all, I know no one else in this world. Uh, well, you know, I could use some help. Why don't you come with me? My friend, I would be honored to follow a hero such as yourself. Shall we go? Yeah, let's go. Oh, hey, give me a super sludge. Great. Okay. Wait, what? Some other mod is overriding dog meat. What? Eh? Okay, whatever. I'll look at that later. done oh my god that was loud holy hell okay um well oh, all your stuff is destroyed well i'm gonna take your fingers anyways this seems like a pretty good place to uh oh i can't take your fingers huh why can i take that one dude's finger ah oh, whatever anyways this seems like a pretty good place to call it although before i do uh just to give you guys an idea of where we are in relation to where we have to go we're up here, at Raven Rock. We should not have a quest marker. Uh, everywhere else is down here. So we are further away from anything than we've ever been for, like, the entire game. We are, like, from Arafu down to Rivet City is how far away we are from Megaton, which is nice. And our motorcycle is down there. Uh, and out of fuel, so completely useless to us. Anyways, that is all for tonight. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all... What the hell is going on there? Whatever. I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.